Hey friends, it's Brian here and it's time for Jeep video number 46. Uh, I'm going to try and wrap up the wiring harness. Um, so I got my additional um, wire wrap that came in today. I needed some more of this quarter inch and I thought it'd be nice to have some 3 8 So I ordered both of those. I've been getting this on eBay. It's not very expensive, you know, like a dollar a foot or something silly like that. So uh, the next piece that needs to be worked on is here. I've got a little bit more that needs to be done under here, but I need to lower the transmission before I mess with that. And that's it for everything in the engine area. So what I gotta do now is get this apart. So um, I'm just gonna clamp this here. And I'll do this one in live video. I, I didn't think this was very interesting, so I didn't do a lot of video on this. I did a lot of uh, stop. Uh, if you don't have one of these, they're indispensable for pulling. Um, all right, so I've got a bulb down there and another bulb over here. These, this wire loom is just fried, so we're going to take this stuff out and Apparently not that fried. The other one's going to come apart the same way, so. Yeah, I don't think the other one just come apart. All right, so we got that out. We'll go ahead and work this up. And at that point, I've got the whole thing out. So let me move the camera back. And you can just see this stuff's just fried. It, it's just falling apart. And it's not going to protect the wiring on the vehicle when it's in this kind of condition. So, it, I mean, you can just see it's just falling apart. So the best thing to do is take this off of yours. If the stuff on your vehicle looks like this, just take it off, throw it away. It is not doing you any favors. And again, I'm replacing this. So I'm going to cut these off. If you're not replacing them, don't cut them off. But these are fried. I mean, they've been in and out too many times.
stuff's a little hard to get apart. I really hate split loom. It's just difficult to work with. A variety of reasons. So what has to happen now is I have to find the end on this so I can untangle it. Some of this stuff's really easy to undo and some of it is put together by somebody who didn't like their job. No idea what the hell this tape is, but I'll give it points. It's really, really durable tape, as evidenced by the fact that it's still here almost 20 years after the vehicle was built. What I don't like is they seem to use multiple pieces on these joints and I it's just very difficult to get it undone like this. So what I sometimes end up doing and the, the danger here is you'll cut a wire by accident but I find myself in cutting this a lot. This is this is frequently what happens where I, I can't tell where the end of it is so I just have to cut it all off actually I think that's the end right there
stuff will really test your patience. This just looks all balled up right here. And this is what I was talking about. I mean, like, whoever put this cable assembly together just didn't give a shit that day at work. I mean, you know, here again, uh, okay, yeah, they taped it, but they taped it together, and that makes it damn near impossible to take it apart. And for all I know, this is bullshit from somebody at a dealership because they frequently don't give a fuck about the quality of their work either. Usually the folks at the factory are union employees and they, they have nothing better to do than to do it right, so they actually sometimes give a shit. My uncle was a union employee for Ford, so I'm not anti-union. He had a nice, he enjoyed a nice uh, career. I just don't see an opening on this. so easy to cut a wire by accident and that's what I don't want to do. point I'm going to stop and I'm going to wrap some of what I've done. I'm also going to plug in my uh, camera because one of the problems with GoPro cameras is the battery. It's probably too small, but we'll sit down and see what we can do with this. Uh, that looks right. <laughs> Only significant disadvantage to these at this size is they're just difficult to work with hard on my hands. I do find that rolling them tends to open them up and get them to go on. Alright, so that looks pretty good there. Doesn't take a lot of tape. And it sure is a good thing that I ordered more of this. Both the tape and the uh, wire loom because this would have run out pretty darn quickly.
So the point of that maneuver is it anchors the wire loom to the main wire. So now we've got a little damage here and uh, there's no telling what that was done by. It could have been done by me, but I don't remember cutting anything in that area. So what I'm gonna do is take a little piece of tape and repair it. One of the things that's easy to do is just throw this stuff out of the way. And then cut it longer than you need because you can always cut a piece off and throw it away. challenge here is just not having anything to grip or a way to open this uh, wrap. This is really what I struggle with on this material. to open a spring and insert something at the same time. So now you got to go back and straighten out uh, the way it's wrapped so it's not twisted on itself and it sits smoothly on here. Once that's done, it needs a little bit of tape. And the tape serves the purpose of securing uh, the end so it doesn't open back up. to go ahead and do both ends.
Okay, so that's pretty good there. us that and we need a small piece here and now we get to wrap all of this So the first thing I do is I come in and pick up a secure bond and then I go around it and then I come up and pick the other wire up like that. I only have to do it once and then I start securing the connection. And in this case it's only two inches long so I'm just going to wrap the whole thing. pick this up and then I'm going to stop. Okay, so at this one, at this point, this one needs to be done with the longer stuff. And then I'm going to add some material to it because um, I don't have a lot of confidence that I've measured 100% accurately and I can always trim it off. That's It's easy to trim this material. really hard to open up. It wants to curl in on itself. Something about the way this stuff is manufactured, it's it just twists in on itself like a cinnamon roll. And the uh, extra curves don't help it. It's making my hands go numb. So I want that snug up there, and then I've still got more of this, but I want it to overlap, so I'm going to cut it there. I don't think I need that, so I'm just going to toss it. All right, now we're going to 
come back here and finish wrapping this. So we're going to pick up this piece and close it. And then we'll come down here this is messy looking I don't like it to be messy looking there it goes This is just to wrap this enough to keep it in place. And again, I'm just going to cut a little bit more of this than I think I need. This is one of the sensors. So here. Okay, so I'm going to trim this down to where I actually need. And these two fingers have gone numb at this point, which is really irritating. That's a carpal tunnel for you. this point
Now, before we do this, this is the headlight, and there's some repair work that needs to be done here. It'll very likely use more than one piece of this tape, but we're going to start with this. And I just don't want these uh, conductors to be exposed, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap them. mind-blowing that they've been exposed and it didn't catch on fire or melt anything. Now, it's important to use a temperature rated tape at this point because they will be hot when the headlamp's in operation. this and it's interesting you can see here something went on with that wire I, I just don't know what that is Gotten that done. Right, so I'm just going to push all this out of my way. tape and it took off. So it's going to take me a minute to find it. There it is. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Screws and tape and bolts and nuts and 13 millimeter sockets have in common. 
when you drop one, it goes to the least accessible place that it can get to. And here again, we have the hermetically sealed tape. I really feel like I'm going fucking blind, not being able to see this kind of stuff, because there was a time when I would have been able to see this, no problem. It's got to be on this left side somewhere. Looks like it's right there. Oh. I'm going to have to cut this one apart again because I have no clue where the piece that I'm looking for is at. I mean, it looks like it's right there, but none of this wants to come apart. I'll be damned if that doesn't look like it's it. Mm -hmm. Wish me luck. It's a good thing I ordered more of this because, you know, I'm getting really close to the end of this uh, piece of um, wire wrap. Uh, I've gone through, I, I will have gone through over 15 feet of this. else it loves to drop into obscure places.
There we go. That looks really nice. And this wasn't wrapped, so I'm not gonna wrap it again. Now, this part, I'm just gonna go down here and pick these up because, again, it's only a two inch piece. nicest wrap job there, but it'll work. to come over here and just put a little security wrap on this. This is just to keep it from coming apart back here. Nothing magical. Except my finger. Now this little piece push mount for the wire loom. Okay. Alright, so that's not very pretty, but it gets me where I want to go. What I don't know is where all this went. Pretty sure this went like this. And this goes somewhere down here. that was a mount and that was a mount is what I actually what I suspect is something like this but I'll I'll figure these out here shortly um, the other one real quick. Yeah, didn't save anything there. So um, I'm going to have to go back and look at uh, pictures and see if I can reverse engineer where these things were located. Um, but that's it. I think we're done with the wiring loom nonsense and um, except for what's down there I mean there's some stuff down by the transmission that really needs to be done but I'm not going to do it tonight because I don't feel like loosening the transmission up 
all right thanks for watching um i hope you enjoyed the live action video and uh stay tuned for more let me know what you think in the comments uh be sure to subscribe hit the alert button so you find out when i publish new videos um and check out the playlist that has the other 40 something videos that are related to this project have a good night